Well, it's Sunday morning. We made it home good last night, safe and sound. Didn't lose anything. And uh, let's recap on what all we bought. And some of it I don't remember. So let's flip the old camera around and walk around and show you. And I don't have it all unloaded. I'm just, the ground's covered. So what we'll do is um, walk around and show you what I've got. Then I'll clean all that up and then unpack everything that's in the totes. And we'll go from there. Oh, and before we get started, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and hit the uh, bell if you want to get notified if, when we put another one up. And share, share, share. Now let's get started. I usually do not buy bicycles. But for some reason, I end up with four of them. I bought this one here. The first one I bought was at least it's a boy's bike. They're harder to find. Have a basket on the front. It's got a good look to it. I dug it out of a barn. Well, they've all come out of a shed. They still got the twine that they they've hanging from the rafters. We had to cut the take the knife and cut them out. And uh, got the little uh, horse tub. And I don't remember where I got it. Got the wagon. Got it in Missouri on my way up there to Kentucky. And uh, got the little I call garden garden cart or whatever you want to call it wheelbarrow got the three lawn chairs got this neat little thing here if tin it's a potato bin and onion bin just cool as heck got double wash tubs bought them from a dealer and uh, he had them priced wrong but he stood stood by his price so i went ahead and bought them I asked him if he didn't want to sell them. I'd understand. He goes, no, you sell them. And we got a piece of tin there. Got the thing for the fireplace cover. I think that's what you call it. Only got one garden cultivator this time. And if the handles on her are pretty rough, but she still displays good. And uh, got it old gaff can a cream can with no lid but i have a lid so that and i got it well worth the money and uh i bought a little bit of calf iron this go around but not a whole lot i have a wagner wear big calf iron skillet there there's a lid there's a griddle it's marked but i can't hardly read it it's not a wagner or a griff wall it does have a mark on it but there's a really good Wagner uh, pan there with a matching lid, marked bottom. Neva Wagner's here. Two with no lids, and here's two more with no lids. They're just marked USA. I have a chicken fryer. I don't see a mark on it yet. But look at here, there's a Griff wall and an Erie. Both. Never owned any of these before, but if you watch the previous videos she had them all lined up i bought i think one two three four five i think i bought five or six of them at one place and she told me how much i said i'd just take them all i got the bacon press there too and i earlier i called that a fan it's really a light i just wasn't thinking and uh we got the big old ox yoke we got it out antique store and a 50% off booth, so I went ahead and picked it up. Got the two-man saw, buck saw, cross-cut saw, actually. And got it out of a barn. Got a nice little wire basket. Not much value, but it's cool. It'll sell. And we got mule work bridles right there. Most people will walk by them. And like the horse collars over there. Uh, I'm a sucker. I buy all that kind of stuff because it makes money. That's all, what I'm in here for. Uh, a single tree. Got a half of a porch pose or whatever you want to call it. Uh, got a Planet Junior Edger. 
that sells good. Then we got the, your wood and my rake. I'm gonna go in the hole. I bought these three pieces right early and uh, get $50 for all three pieces. But uh, the rake's in three pieces now. So I'm not gonna, if I break even, I'd be lucky. Uh, still got, got my little Singer can oiler and got this nice little uh, copper pot or little bucket, pan, whatever you want to call it. Got some design on it. I can't wait to clean it up and check it out. And the back window, the old gun rack for the back window of a pickup. Draw knife, a little weed cutter, sickle, two axes, got the, uh, the tobacco cutter. Bought these hubcaps and a lot of people walk by hubcaps, but I can probably get $50 each for them. I give 10 each. Cast iron legs, I bought them. He gave me a package deal on them. They have so much peace. And uh, thinking about making a round table or something out of them. And the Johnny on the job deal here, Shelly bought it. Think She thinks we need it out there for our little camper. If she have one, she just wants to replace it. And bought this piece here. It's both have deal. You drop it down your well and it fills up with water and you bring it out. That's what that's for. There's no uh, cow halter. I got some more wooden hames. Why I bought them, I do not know. And got a uh, driving harness. Got one bit. I have a mark right there. Right there, I can't make it out. Probably save Japan. I surely don't, I hope it don't. And uh, I bought this, it was all hooked together when I bought it. But to haul it home, I took it apart. And uh, what I'm probably do, I'm gonna leave it apart that's going to become a shelf and that's going to become a hanging mirror and we've got the window frame i i sell them they're no big money but i give two dollars for it price up for 20. and uh bathtub legs some of them demand good money i didn't give much for them got the well or pitcher pump that's not a well pump it's a pitcher pump goes in the house I don't have any problem selling them sometimes. Got all these, I can't wait to go through here. All these uh, model airplanes, engines. And got all these pulleys, bought them all in one place. As you've probably seen in the video. Uh, he gave me a better deal, but I sell them out of Fredericksburg trade days. I usually don't have any problem. I, kind of getting low on them so i need a new collection like i said i bought the creeper that's not old or anything but when i do an automotive swap mate i'll probably get 20 bucks out of it gave five for it and the cast iron sink i got my dolly there because i don't want to move it but look how dirty it is I hopefully at the end i'll i'll put on what it looks like cleaned up and it is heavy but there, there that is and got two saddles, bought them out of the barn with that first bicycle. If the one's missing a stirrup, and wouldn't you know it, I bought a matching stirrup for it at another garage sale. Got this little, and I bought this out of antique store. Rag to riches. So it needs a little repair on the bottom. I knew that when I was buying it. But it was in the 50% off booth. I think I make good money on it. We'll find out. I'm probably going to paint it. Especially after I put the bottom on and just to, there. And then I bought this. Shelly was shocked that I spent the, I paid right up for this, I think. But I still think there's some, I can make a little money on it. There's this here piece. Because I bought it out of a whole unit. I'm going to sell the table and the two stools. And then I'm going to price that separately. I just, 
and out of Fredericksburg wine country, I think they'll sell. I think they'll do good. I'm, well, I'm hoping. Now let's see, where was I? I did this, I did that, bicycles, wash tubs, all oh, the big iron wheels over here. Big iron wheels. I got a pretty good deal on them. I hope they, at least they match a pair. Hopefully I can get rid of them. And I think that's about it. Don't seem like much. But all this was in the back of my pickup. With them, I still gotta go through them three totes and I got the back end, back seat full of stuff. So we'll, we'll get that dug out and, and look at it. All right, round two. Them two totes are packed clear full, well, tote in a bag, packed clear full of uh, clothes that Shelly bought. Shelly bought these shoes right here. Bought this vintage blanket. She bought these two things. I don't have a clue what they are. Then she bought uh, this backpack. Santa Claus, Rockin' Santa. And these are Lumberger jars. I don't know. I can't get them out. I don't want to take them out. But she bought them. She does research. I mean, she run comps and everything before she'll buy anything. So they're probably a good deal. She bought this here. So, and then she bought them hats in the hat box. She bought the pumpkin, the big bowl, and them cowboy boots over there. We'll look at them when I get on the other side. But here's my best thing I bought, I think, right here. Ashland uh, Globe off top gas pump. The lady seen that in my truck, and she just about fell over wondering where I got it. So I hope I do all right. Clipboard. And Shelly talked me into that board there. She said something about they use that for for uh, putting cheese and stuff at a party nowadays. So we'll see. I bought the picnic basket, and I picked this up at an antique store in Holton, Kansas. Porcelain sign from Texas. Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers Association. Thought it had to come back to Texas. So, that wasn't bad. Well then, I bought a horse blanket. Basically just for padding, but only give a dollar for it. Then I bought this Western or Southwest, whatever you want to call them. I'm a sucker for these. I'm always buying them. Give a dollar for it. There's here a handmade quilt. Small one though, like a little throw or baby blanket. It is signed who made it and everything else and what year they did it in. Let's see if I, not that one. Nope. Here. Get turned around here. Let's get everybody dizzy. Deep blue seas. She made it in 2017. So it's not that old, but she made it. Then this blanket here. I'm a sucker for them kind. But like I said, I give a dollar a piece for them. Can't go wrong. I use them for padding, if nothing else. Then we go over here. Picked up these old pool table leather pockets. I've had them before and sold them and done very well. Here are all the pocket knives I bought from one gentleman. Gave him, I think, $3 a piece for him, what they averaged out. 
red man belt buckle both the old vintage lights they're brand new in the package they're not old you know they just made to look old but for a quarter a piece i'll gamble because i'm always putting them in lamps or lights i make make them look cool silverware nothing you know just flatware stuff silver plate one piece right here that's sterling silver gotta make sure i pull that out there's them boots Shelly bought, like brand new. There's a kitty cat she bought for a friend. They was trying to tell her of a real cat. It's made in China. Marked on made in China in the bottom. Uh, there's a wooden stirrup. There's the Pyrex corn, or corning wire. Uh, coffee pot. There's the Pyrex coffee pot. Shawnee salt and pepper. Ricer. I thought this was really cool. I paid up for it, but I like it. I'll keep it for a little while until I sell it. <laughs> but I think it actually works. You smurge it and it pumps. Fish and pole decorations. Put them up at garage sale. There's fruit jars. There's a depression glass pea fowl glow in the dark or glow under black light. There's some, uh, oh my gosh carnival glass more fruit jars i have old lids i'm gonna put on them and i'll the price there's wagner wear aluminum calf or calf aluminum wagner wear skillet lid and we got a couple old neon neon knee high soda bottles and we got a, a festiva one and fire king i think yeah the fire king it's never been a dishwasher because the colors are bright on it and nutcracker there shelly bought that and i got the hot wheels and the light 73 light duty chevy truck manual and then we got a a racing shirt they always sell and i think that's about it i can't think of any more well there it is it cleaned up a little bit needs a lot more scrubbing but I think I can get it cleaner. A lot better than it was. And with that, I'm calling it quits uh, for this one. So hit the like button, subscribe to us, and hit the bell if you want notified. And share, share, share. We'll see you on the next one.